15 years ago today, people across Iowa are watching the water fall from the sky relentlessly as the already high Cedar River threatened to shatter its record high crest. The next day, it did. Since then, Cedar Rapids has crafted a strategy to prevent that kind of flooding that caused nearly 1,400 jobs to be lost, 45 daycares to close permanently, and more than 400 people needing to be rescued by boat. The city has added levees, flood walls, and floodgates to stop the river from flooding. And it's changed how water moves underground and storm sewers to prevent the river from seeping into basements. This is an enormous undertaking, costing more than $750 $50 million dollars and it's not yet fully funded. Inflation has been a challenge and if we're not going to build it today trying to estimate that a little challenge so I'm going to give you a range we're probably between 60 and 70 percent funded right now and as I said we're about 32 percent complete so we can get a lot more done than what we've got done right now and then uh, like I said everything we're doing is very purposeful so uh, We'll do underground storm sewer gates and we can HESCO barriers. We can do a lot of protection if we can keep the storm water not, system not flooding. So we don't have to finish, you know, 100% of the system to say, you know, we're pretty well protected. Now, one place the city says it has saved money relates to the Edwood, Edgewood Road Bridge. This is Edgewood Road Northwest. You'll remember the flood of 08. Edgewood Road was unusable because of high flood waters on the Cedar River. You can only get across with Interstate 380. But with the somewhat recent completion of Highway 100, another way to get across the river, now there are two really high marks to cross the river, 380 and 100. So elevating Edgewood Road, that bridge is not so much a priority, so that would save a lot of money not doing that project.